folks. My name is Tuya Lafi, reporting for Hollywood Connections in the World Tourism Badget. And right now, I'm going to interview Mr. John Bevere, a public speaker and a best-selling author. So Mr. John, please tell me, who inspired you to be a public speaker and an author? Well, you know, Tuila, honestly, it was the Lord. Um, I was away from God. I got saved in my fraternity. And when I did, I started praying. And the more I prayed, the more I felt drawn to ministry. And then I just, after about a year of fighting it, one day I said, okay, God, I'll do it. And the rest is history. So I started serving in a church, and then it moved towards traveling and speaking and then authoring. That is awesome. So my mom's a huge fan of your wife. And okay. so I was I am wondering. A, I am a huge fan of my wife. <laughs> I was wondering if you're the one who inspired her to do her job or if the Lord just called her. Well, the Lord did call her. But here's the deal. I pushed her out. She didn't want to speak because, you know, Lisa lost her right eye to cancer when she was five years old. So she got out of public speaking in high school, which was required. And when we were youth pastors way back in the mid-1980s, I said, Lisa's going to speak next week. And I would surprise her. And she was so upset all week long. She goes, no, mm -hmm. I'm not the youth pastor. You are. And I said, no, you're going to do it because you have a lot to give. And she'd get up and knock it out of the park, right? Mm -hmm. So I just kept kind of doing that. And one day, the Holy Spirit came into her room in her hotel room while I was preaching and really dealt with her and said, I've called you to preach the gospel to women. Are, are you going to do it? And she said yes. Wow. So people, you know, they don't expect women to teach in the church. What are the some of the reactions of the people who um, listen to your wife's speech? Well, most people receive from her. Very few people nowadays have a problem with women speaking in the church. And the reason is, is they realize that people took three scriptures out of context in the New Testament. First of all, you have to realize all three scriptures were written to Greek churches. Um, Greek goddesses uh, were big back then. And in those cities in Greece, many times women would almost just say, hey, I'm a woman, you're a man, I'm, I have authority over you. So Paul had to deal with that with those three. But if you look at the prophet Joel, he said, your sons and daughters, men servants and maid servants will speak my word. If you look at the psalmist, he said, God proclaimed his word and great is the company of women who who preached it. Uh, if you look at Jesus, Jesus sent Mary Magdalene to proclaim his resurrection. Yeah. She was the first evangelist. It wasn't a man, it was a woman. Yeah. So if you look at the overall counsel of scripture, it's very clear. God has called men and women to preach. That means he's called you to preach, Tuila. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. John. And so once again, that's Tuila Laffey reporting for Hollywood Connections and the World Tourism Pageant. Reporting live from Hula Hawaii is Tuila Laffey and Mr. John Revere.